Good Saturday afternoon. Had Carrie come in this morning to help me pull four yards because we needed four more yards of escapes to set the last of the honey. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. And we had the escape set for two days, which is typically long enough, but the escapes are working slower now. And we maybe rushed them just a little bit, brought some bees into the honey house. Not all the boxes, like a lot of them are cleared, but there's some that didn't clear as quickly. So we have a lot more movement on top of the stacks right now. Which we'll just have to deal with. But my window is working really well. So the window is like a magnet for all those bees. I'm just going to sweep that off the window now, get them outside into a box where I can take them back out to the yard and boost some nukes, and just let that sunshine pull the rest of these bees out of the box. Sometimes, like, there's a box there with a lot of bees in it. There might be a virgin in there, or a queen with a nest up top that we missed. These boards aren't foolproof. I mean, it's a bit of a love-hate relationship I have with them. Like, Carrie and I, we pulled 700 boxes this morning. <clears throat> Just the two of us. And I can still stand upright, so I love it that way. But we tend to bring bees in every once in a while. Something we just have to deal with. So these, this row, the ones we brought in, will be sitting here um, probably till Wednesday. So there's lots of time for these boxes to clear. And that is what this window is for. We're just exiting a very heavy flow, my honey flow. And we're going into sudden dearth, just like that. But I have drags of pollen still coming in. I have drags of nectar, but not enough to sustain, not enough to build. And right now is a very critical time to build this winter nest. My queen's slowing down right now as the days become shorter and shorter. It's, you know, the dog days of August we are now drifting into fall and the hives know that and they're responding absolutely precisely to what's going on. If there's no nutrition coming in this time of year, they pull back, right? They're in conservation mode. But the thing is, we are here to provide them with the nourishment so we know that even though things are changing, they're not going to fall into hardship quite yet because we are here to provide for them. So what am I doing? What right now is a very important time. Right now, I'm going in and as we're stripping off these honey boxes to finish out the year, there's no more nectar. Very, there's not enough nectar coming in to qualify as being surplus. I'm using it to build bees now. So what I'm doing is I'm dropping a couple pounds of protein on them just to try to take that nest and extend it out just a little bit further, right? And then at the exact same time, I'm flashing syrup at them. And it's kind of a, you gotta read what's going on because you don't wanna plug them out and you don't wanna starve them out. So you just have to read and assess, 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 continually assess what's going on and just flash at them with the syrup and then provide that protein. And it's like baking a cake. You provide the ingredients, the bees then take that, those signals of nourishment and they convert it into a brood. So they allow that queen to carry on and extend. It actually isn't the queen, it's the workers that determine all this. You'll notice if you look through a nest that is slowing down, she's laying a storm still. Like she wants to keep going in a lot of ways, 
the workers are the ones that determine whether or not those eggs or not are going to go forwards, right? To develop out that lush brood nest. There is a little bit of truth both ways in that. Like the, an older queen, she'll lay more and she'll lay further just to give the bees more of an opportunity, I guess you can say. But those bees, those nurse bees, are the ones that are going to be feeding all that brood. And they need the feed. They need the signal to be able to take that nourishment and carry on that brood nest. Right? So provide it for them. And build out that winter nest. At the exact same time, I'm considering stopping though. Right? So what we're doing is we're taking that nest that probably was halting right about now and we're probably moving it in for another two or three weeks to get them into September. And then I want to stop. Once they establish that bird nest, I'm going to cease all feeding. I'm going to allow the natural dearth to shut them down and I'm going to backfill that nest. I'm going to backfill as that brood emerges throughout September into October. Plug them out, stop them. And that way all this fresh brood that's been established right in the last cycle, they know no different than to be nurse bees and they are the ones that are going to hang on right till April. So that's the recipe I follow. That's what I do. That's exactly my thought process as I'm trying to manage these nests. I'm using supplements and I think a lot of people get caught up with adding secret ingredients and everything to their supplements to build, to develop out these nests. You first have to figure out the basics, the proteins, you know, balance out that protein. You need sugar. And then once you get that figured out, then you can start playing with your protein and start adding more uh, nutrition to it. That's what I do with my supplements. I add to try to bring that feed source to pr try to provide as much as I can to those bees to use to develop out that brood. I'm super focused on that. And I'm also doing the same thing with my syrup. I'm adding these nutrients to the syrup to mimic somewhat is coming in from the natural, like from the flowers. I'm providing all that for them. So if they need it, they can use it and they can use it, especially this time of year. I'm not using this stuff all year. It's too expensive. I'm very focused on my feeding regime to be able to, you know, supercharge that nest exactly when I need it to be supercharged. And it pays back in dividends. I guarantee you that. You can just see, well, look at my nests. They're just absolutely brilliant right now. Busting at the seams, okay? What can I say? Just like baking a cake. Mm-hmm.